More details about Big Navi's release date and the RTX 3090 benchmarks are in. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. All right, before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you to Michael Back for creating my new intro. You'll be able to find his email address in the pinned comment below. And also, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Let's try and break 3,000 likes this time. So first, let's start off with those new details surrounding the Big Navi release date. And this all started with a Twitter post posted by Andre Elijah, who said, quote, Well, not being able to pick up a 3090 today means that my work is going to be screwed for the next little bit. Can they at least release a new Quadro so I can get my work done? $10 says AMD will have a paper launch too. Then surprisingly, Frank Azor over at AMD had this to say in response, quote, I look forward to taking your $10. So what does this actually tell us? Well, what we do know so far about the RX 6000 series graphics cards is that there will be a launch event on October the 28th. Now, during this event, we don't know for sure whether or not you're going to actually be able to purchase the cards because although it is a launch event, that doesn't mean it's the release date. And I was hoping to see something in this tweet, you know, regarding a release date, and unfortunately we didn't see that. But what it does tell us is that when these cards do eventually launch, it seems like, at least according to Frank, they're not planning on having a paper launch. And typically a paper launch is when you try and get the graphics cards out to basically just reviewers, but you don't really have enough to sell to people, or if there is any any, there's it's just such small quantity that basically nobody can buy them and so you're just posturing to make it look like at least that you have something out before your competitor or you got something out in time to be competitive when in reality the product wasn't ready so it's nice to hear that they're not going to be having a paper launch because a lot of people have been complaining recently that the RTX 3080 and 3090 series cards were essentially a paper launch and while I don't a hundred percent agree with that it is true that these cards have been in very very short supply or you know according to nvidia they had as much as the 20 series whether or not that's true we'll never know because uh, i don't actually work for a company like evga so i don't know what type of numbers they're getting in but either way you, you slice it it's basically not enough cards for the people who are trying to buy them and that's really sad to see but you know even though frank is saying they're not going to have a paper launch that doesn't mean they're not going to be hard to get so there's already people being like, yes, I'll definitely be able to get one on the launch date. Well, you might not. <laughs> you know, just because it's not a paper launch, there could still only be, you know, a handful of thousands of cards. Maybe they maybe they even make like, you know, over 10,000 cards on launch date that you can buy. Well, there's probably going to be a whole lot more demand than that if these cards are really good. And speaking of really good, let's go ahead and talk about the performance versus the RTX 3090 because the actual reviews for the 3090 just lifted today. And if we take a look at someone like Hardware Unboxed, well, according to them at 4K, the RTX 3090 is only 11% faster than the RTX 3080, which, in my opinion, leaves a whole lot of room for AMD to come in and just sneak right in with a really powerful card and actually get something that's a little bit faster than the RTX 3090. But the question is, can AMD actually beat the RTX 3090? Now, I have talked about this subject in the past several times, so just to briefly summarize, it, it seems like current rumors going around right now is that the RX 6900 XT or Big Navi is going to have 80 compute units or twice the amount you can find on the 5700 XT. On top of that, it's supposed to have a pretty enormous performance per watt gain as well as a clock speed gain. So, and I think, you know what, I, I believe AMD also had in a slide that they were going to have some sort of an IPC gain as well. So if you take into account, you're going to have more cores, the cores are going to be doing more work at the same clock speed, and they're going to have a higher clock speed, well, you're probably going to be looking at a card that, it, in theory, if everything scales well, which it might not scale well, keep that in mind, but if it did, it could actually be more than twice as fast, and that would be fast enough to actually beat the RTX 3090. Now, the only thing that I'm concerned about, and I've talked about this on multiple different occasions, is the fact that there's also rumor going around that this card might only have a 256-bit bus. There's people who are saying that this could be uh, completely alleviated by the fact that they're going to have an enormous amount of cash on the die, whether or not that's true, uh, if they're going to even have an enormous amount of cash. I, I heard from Red Gaming Tech is being 128 megabytes. We'll have to see if that happens. They might not. It seems like a huge amount to have. But even if they did have that amount of cash, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to completely solve the problem. We don't know for sure what that's going to actually look like in real life. It could or it could not. 
Now, me personally, I'm hoping that they're hiding some sort of HBM2 variant, and someone actually recently emailed me and said that there is going to be an HBM version of this card that's going to come out. Now, I don't know how credible this person is, so take that with a grain of salt. Uh, the other option that they could have is a 512-bit bus, because uh, you got to remember, you can build an enormous GPU, but it's not going to scale real well if it doesn't have the memory bandwidth necessary to actually feed those cores. But if AMD is actually able to feed those cores, I think that this big Navi that they will be releasing shortly here does stand a pretty good chance of beating the RTX 3090 because only 11% faster than the RTX 3080 isn't really that impressive in just tr traditional rasterized games. Now, when it comes to ray tracing, will the 6900 XT beat it? We don't know for sure. And in all reality, we don't even know if this 80 compute unit card is real. I mean, this is just leaks right now. So if I were you, to save myself from getting way too overhyped about this product, because this has been a problem with AMD in the past, I would go into their launch thinking like this. Yes, AMD might have an extremely powerful card. However, all I can reasonably expect out of AMD is for them to have an RTX 3070 competitor. Maybe it'll be a little bit faster. Maybe it'll just tie with the 3070 and to have it come in at a pretty good price point. And if they do that, you know what? You should be pretty happy because, hey, you got competition and the price point where it matters most. But of course, if they have something faster than that and they can finally beat NVIDIA for the first time in quite a long time, well, then that's great because we got to remember that flagship cards sell the whole stack but also we have to remember that even if AMD comes in and they do end up beating the RTX 3090 there's a lot of software stuff they got to work through still they got to figure out you know are they going to beat Nvidia on RTX or are they not going to be as fast um, are they going to have a competitor that's as good as DLSS? We don't know for sure yet. Uh, how are their drivers going to be at launch? You know, are you going to be able to pick one up as launch? Because even though uh, Frank Azer is saying it's not going to be paper launch, that doesn't mean, remember, that it's not going to be hard to find, and it probably will. I'm personally expecting that you'll have a better time trying to get Navi cards. Uh, the big Navi cards at launch, but that doesn't mean it's going to be easy. And especially if these things turn out to be like really good at mining or other workstation tasks, well, then you can expect that they're going to be even harder to find than we originally expected. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about these big Navi leaks? Do you think you'll be able to get one on launch? And do you think it'll be able to beat the RTX 3090? I'd love to see what you have to say in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.